Welcome to our summit. Today we are going to see the topic current limiting reactors in our electrical power system. Uh, today we are going to see the, what is the exact use of current limiting reactors, uh, where it is uh, located in our electrical power system and where it is necessary. Now uh, we can start from the uh, basics of uh, reactor coils. A reactor is a coil which has a large number of turns and whose ohmic resistance value is much greater. Reactors are used to limit the short circuit currents which can cause the damage to the equipment of the power system. The additional reactants added in the series with the system to protect for the protection purpose which is called as the reactor's coil. Now basically here uh, we can see that under the abnormal conditions when the fault occurs the large amount of fault current uh, uh, or we can say the fault current magnitude is very large so our uh, protection system or whatever equipments protective switch gears we are using uh, which are capable to handle this large amount of the current so uh, to reduce this fault current magnitude basically we are going to use this reactor coil the current limiting reactor is a type of reactor which limits the heavy flow of current through the other sections of the system in this way, we don't have to shut down the whole system. We can just isolate the faulty section from the healthy section with the help of this reactor system. When we use this type of the reactor system in our electrical network, uh, we don't require to shut down the whole system. We can easily isolate the faulty section from the healthy section. Reactors are also used to protect the circuit breakers of the different rating. Now look at this, the circuit breaker having the uh, their capacity and if the um, fault current magnitude is uh, uh, having the very large rating, in that case uh, these reactor are also used to protect the circuit breakers. Now uh, they are used to limit the short circuit currents according to the capacity of the circuit breakers. Uh, therefore while doing changes in the system, we don't have to replace the circuit breaker. Instead, we can add the reactors and utilize the same circuit breaker due to which the time and money both can be saved. Now uh, we can utilize the same circuit breaker uh, just by adding the number of reactors in the system. So basically uh, the reactor if we use this reactor system we can easily uh, reduce the uh, uh, time for the uh, installation maintenance as well we can save the money. Now basically the reactors in the power system can be located in the uh, different location uh, basically when it is uh, connected in the series with the generator, when in the series with the feeder, in the bus bar reactors. Now according to their location the type of this uh, reactor system is uh, identified. Now when this reactor system is connected in series with the generator that uh, reactor system is called as a generator reactor system. Now when the uh, reactor coil is connected in series with the feeder, that system is known as a feeder reactor. Now similarly, when these uh, reactor coils are connected in series with the bus bar, that is called as the bus bar reactor system. Now we can start from the generator reactor. Now here uh, in the figure you can see that uh, G1, G2, G3 are the alternators. G1, G2, G3, these are the alternators. Now this is the generator bus and this is the A, B, C are the feeders. Now this reactor coil is connected in between this generator G1 to the bus bar. Now similarly this one, this one, and this one, these are all the reactor coils. Now uh, basically the, G, the reactor coil is connected in between this bus bar, generator bus bar and your this generator location. That's why this uh, reactor system is known as generator reactor system. Now when the reactors are inserted between the generator and generator bus which is shown in the figure, the reactors are known as a generator reactor system. Now uh, such reactors protect the machines individually. Now in the diagram you can see that the separate reactor coil is connected along with the uh, individual uh, generator. Now this G1, this is your reactor system. Now since modern machines have the transient reactants sufficient to protect themselves against the dead three phase short circuit at its terminal, then the separate reactors are not required in the modern installation. Now here. Uh, in the modern machines uh, having the transient reactance sufficient to protect themselves against the dead three phase short circuit at terminals. So basically when we uh, in the modern installation uh, 
the transient reactance is considered uh, against the different faults so uh, especially uh, the separate reactor coil is not required in the recent installations uh, because the your alternator protection which is uh, enough to uh, what we can say uh, enough to reduce that fault current now when the new machines are installed in an old power station generator reactors may be added for the older generators now here you can see that जब भी आप न्यू मशीन आप इंस्टॉल करते हो आपके पावर सिस्टम में जनरेटिंग स्टेशन में तो एट दैट टाइम यू हैव टू इंस्टॉल दी रिएक्टर कॉइल्स मे बी एडेड फॉर द ओल्डर जनरेटर्स जो ऑलरेडी प्लांट इंस्टॉल हो चुके हैं जहाँ पे हमें नए कुछ अल्टरनेटर इंस्टॉल करने हैं वो लोकेशन पे वी हैव टू इंस्टॉल दी न्यू रिएक्टर कॉइल्स द मैग्नेट्यूड ऑफ सच रिएक्टर इज वेरी अप्रोक्सीमेटली अबाउट दी फाइव परसेंट to point 5 per unit now the now uh, we can see the disadvantage also the main disadvantage of this method is that if the short circuit occurs on one feeder the voltage at generator bus may drop to such a low value that the synchronous machine connected to this common bus bar may fall out of state now here look at this if the fault occur on any bus bar now we can see go through on diagram now if the fault occur on this bus bar as well as on the feeder for this type of the fault this uh, generator reactor is not sufficient to protect the fault to the feeders and uh, uh, bus bar side so definitely the power loss will occur on this uh, feeder and uh, as well as on the bus bar so uh, we can say the constant power loss will be uh, shown on the bus bar as well as on the feeder now the whole system while be adversely affected a full load current is always flowing through this type of the reactors during normal operation also therefore the resultant in the constant voltage drop and constant power loss so we can see on the Uh, whatever the power loss occur on the your feeder as well as on the your bus bar on the same time uh, the power loss uh, will affect the major uh, issues for the your synchronization now uh, this is the complete uh, consideration of your generator reactors now we can see the feeder reactor system now this is the diagram of your feeder reactor system now again you can see that this is the generator g1 g2 and g3 correct this is the generator bus bar and a b c which is stands for your feeder now when we connect this reactor coil in between this generator bus and your feeder now here you can see that this is your reactor coils now when the reactor coil is connected in between your the feeder then this system is known as a feeder reactor system now when the reactors are connected in series with the feeder which is shown in the figure the reactors are which is known as a feeder reactor in the event of the fault on any one feeder in this case the main voltage drop in its reactor only and the bus bar voltage is not affected hence the other machines continue to supplying the load now here uh, with the help of the diagram we can see that this is the uh, feeder a b c now uh, whatever the reactor coil is connected in between this uh, series with this feeder and if the fault occur on the feeder number a uh, in that case the voltage drop is only considered for this feeder only not by on the uh, bus bar and from the generator side the other advantage is that the fault on the feeder will not affect the other feeders therefore the effect on the faults are localized so simple thing is that we can easily uh, identify and isolate the fault where it occurs on the specific feeder now uh, definitely the disadvantage of the locating reactor in this position is that uh, do not provide any protection to the generator set against the short circuit fault across the bus bar agar koi bhi fault jo hai aapke bus bar aur generator side pe ho rahe to ye jo reactor system hai feeder reactor system which is not able to uh, 
प्रोटेक्ट युअर बस बार एज वेल एज युअर जनरेटर साइड नाउ हाउ युअर ऑफ नो इम्पॉर्टन्स बिकॉज सच ए फॉल्ट्स आर रेयर एंड ऑल्सो मॉडर्न अल्टरनेटर्स हैव द लार्ज ट्रांसिंग रिएक्टर्स फॉर देअर प्रोटेक्शन अगेन दी शॉर्ट सर्किट बेसिकली इन दी रिसेंट इंस्टॉलेशन मॉडर्न इंस्टॉलेशन दिस टाइप ऑफ द कंडीशंस आर ऑलरेडी प्रेडिक्टेड सो द प्रोटेक्शन सिस्टम विल टेक केयर ऑफ दैट now the other drawback of the uh, feeder reactor system is that the constant voltage drop and the constant power loss in the reactor even during the normal operation now the individual feeder reactors are very expensive and must be restored to only in the case of the group feeder thus a uh, usually the value of the reactants for the feeder circuit is of the order of 3 to 5% based on the normal current loading of the circuit here it is to be noted that uh, with the high inductive loads serious interference with the regulations can arise but at n- or near unity power factor the effect on the regulation is negligible now what is the uh, major drawback of this feeder reactor system there is a constant voltage drop uh, and a constant power loss because it is always connected in series with your feeder now the reactor system now definitely as the name self implies that when we connect the reactor coil in series with the bus bar that system is known as bus bar reactor system now the uh, constant voltage drop and the constant power loss in the reactor may be avoided by inserting the reactor in the bus bar the former is the ring system and the next one is the type bar system basically these are the two sub classification of the bus bar reactor system uh, where we are going to connect the reactor coil according to that this bus bar reactor system having the uh, two sub sections uh, one is ring system and second is type bar system now we can start from the uh, ring system now this is the diagram of the uh, ring system here is the generator g1 g2 g3 a b c is the feeder now this reactor coil is connected in series with this common bus bar now this whole system is known as bus bar reactor system ring type now bus bar reactors are used to tie together separate bus sections in this system the sections are made of generators and feeders these sections are connected to each other at the common bus bar which is already shown in the figure now in this system normally one feeder is fed from one generator here we can see that one feeder is one feeder is connected to one individual generators under normal operating condition the small amount of power flow through the reactors therefore the voltage drop and the power loss in the reactor is very low now the reactors can uh, therefore be made with the fairly high ohmic resistance and there is not much voltage drop across it in the case of the fault on any one feeder only one generator feed the fault while the current from the other generator is limited because of the presence of bus bar reactors now here uh, definitely we can see that whatever the fault occur on the feeder uh, that fault will not be uh, distributed in the other feeder because in between them there is uh, 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 reactor coil is connected so the heavy current and voltage disturbances caused by the short circuit on the bus sections are reduced and conform primarily to these sections now the bus bar reactors do not protect the generator connected to the faulty sections now look at this uh, here is uh, some of the features bus bar reactors do not protect the generators connected to the faulty section faulty section uh, jahan pe faulty section hai wahan pe aap uh, which is not uh, having the uh, area which is not separately connected to that uh, they facilitated the parallel operation of the last system and are extensively employed Uh, with the help of this type of the system we can connect it the uh, parallel alternators so uh, while connecting the parallel alternators uh, it is not uh, affected uh, for the new system which are going to install in our network so uh, we can say uh, this is the facilitate the parallel operation of the last system and are extensively employed uh, this is whole for the your bus bar reactor system by ring type now second one is bus bar reactor system uh, by the tar bar net type now here uh, you can see that this is g1 g2 g3 now this is bus bar and here we are 
going to connect the separate tie bar in between the, the reactor of pulse are connected that's why it is called as a tie bar system now this is the modification of the above system in general with this system the voltage regulation between the feeder section is better than the above system now look at this the regulation is nothing but the fluctuation between higher point to lower point this reg regulation we can easily maintain with the help of this uh, system this system is ideally suited for the uh, generating system where the frequently new generators being added जहाँ पे भी नए जनरेटर हम कंटिन्यूसली एडिट करते रहते हैं वहाँ पे ये टाइप का सिस्टम हम डेफिनेटली यूज कर सकते हो इन दिस सिस्टम द जनरेटर्स आर कनेक्टेड टू द कॉमन बस बार थ्रू द रिएक्टर्स बट द फीडर्स आर फील्ड फ्रॉम द जनरेटर साइड ऑफ द रिएक्टर्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इन द फिगर सेपरेट टाइप आर वी आर गोइंग टू कनेक्ट एंड अलॉन्ग विद द रिएक्टर पॉइंट नाउ द ऑपरेशन ऑफ द सिस्टम इज सिमिलर टू द रिंग सिस्टम इट हैज गॉट एन एडिशनल एडवांटेज If the number of the section is inserted, the fault current will not exceed the certain value, which is fixed by the size of individual reactors. Now look at this in the system. Jitne bhi number of uh, generators alternators are connect karte jaate ho, so definitely jitne aap alternators connect karte ho, so at the same time it will reduce the fault current magnitude. Okay? Yeah. Thus, the switch gear designed to operate this successfully on limiting the current will continue operating successfully. for any number of the extension of the section and required no modifications now this is for whole uh, bus bar reactor system thank you very much